Oh no. Oh no. Man, I am so sad and bum and slash mad at myself. I put these LEDs light up and I wasn't really paying attention and this thing tipped over and <laughs> But on the on the lucky side, I don't think it touched like the actual paint. This looks like things something that I can uh, get out. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll figure it out tomorrow morning. What's going on, everybody? So I am back, and it's nighttime. I just recently taken out these wheels, and you might ask why did I take off these wheels? And the reason is because we're gonna put on one other modification and checking it off our list. And which is, boom, right there. It is the shark mouth front grill from Endless RPM, which goes right here. So if you if you actually never uh, really pay attention to my front, uh, a while ago before I actually started recording uh, for YouTube and stuff, I actually cut off the mill bar that went that was attached right here because I really want, I like the look of, I like the look of this right here. But at that time, I didn't, I really didn't want to cough up the, what, the $200. So I decided just to cut up and, and thought it would look decent, right? But the mesh that I bought, these chicken wires that my friends and my wife likes to call it, uh, it's kind of does not look good. I finally, I'm able to put this boy on. Now, this is not gonna look like this the entire time. It's actually gonna be painted to match the silver. So, we're gonna be tackling this today by installing this. And the reason why I took these off is because I have to get to the inside fender liner and take off a couple of screws and stuff to, in order to take the whole bumper off and then start cutting into this piece in order to fit this like so. I don't have tape or nothing, but it looks like that. It looks way nicer than that. If you guys didn't know, right here, these are the clips that are attached right there and right there. And then inside the actual liner itself, there's a little spot right up there, focus right there where a screw is, which is this right here, where a screw was, and I unscrew that, and this pretty much is starting to pop out, right? Easy, and um, there used to be a clip, whole bunch of clips running along underneath the car, but I already took this bumper off before, so it actually is not, not there anymore, so it saves me some time. But I have to do the same thing on the other side, and then get these clips right here and here, and pretty much the bumper comes off. Ta-da! And it comes right off. Boom. All right, so first step, let's get this piece of crap chicken wire looking thing out. I got it. <clears throat> you served me well. But time for the good stuff. Now we have to use a Dremel. And like I said, Dremel all this out to clear it out in order to make space for the shark mouth grill. This comes off just like that. Boom. All right, so now since I took out that little trim piece, now I just cut pretty much all of this. Right here you can see that I've taped up the uh, bumper so that just in case that thing slips, it won't gouge into my paint. Take control because uh, I might hit this thing and stuff. So I don't want to, I Happy month anniversary, babe. Where'd you get flowers from? Give me a kiss, babe. Give me a kiss. I guess I'll figure it out tomorrow morning. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, it's kind of getting a little late, so I'm still gonna eat dinner and things. So I'm gonna wrap this up tomorrow morning before we head to the meet. Get up bright and early and, you know, 
finish this up. So I'll see you guys in the morning. No, last clip you saw is not a joke. It has been probably a good three weeks since the last clip you guys just watched. And yeah, I've been slacking on the, on the installation. But today we are going back at it and finishing up the shark mouth grill. And so here is the status at this moment with the shark mouth grill. All right, so here we are with the status. So I put this on because I had a meet that I had to go to, but today we are going to finish it, doing it right. Okay, so this is the problem right now with the grill. So you can see there's still some pretty big gaps along the line at the edges and stuff. And so first, let's go ahead and take out the, take off the bumper again and see what we got. All right, so I took out the bumper. I I figure you guys didn't need to see that again since I did it uh, walk around a little bit. So you can see uh, I added the bottle right here to secure it a little bit, but not all the way. See some of the residue from the bottle. Ah, so. Get rid of all this right here so we can see what we're doing. I don't think I showed you uh, from the couple weeks before, but I did drill some holes so that it can line up with that. I'll get back with you guys whenever I figure out how to how to fit this right, fit it to my liking. All right, so after a little bit of time figuring it out, I think I know what I have to do on my first step. This side over here, it's a big, big, major gap right there and I think the reason is because if you go behind the bumper right over here I think this there's a couple spots that a um, couple bumps that didn't cut right and so it's sort of uh, stopping the shark mouth piece from being flush with this side so I have to trim I'm gonna go ahead and trim a little more right there to see if it'll do anything Huh. So uh, that is why you want to put tape around here and I did not and I saw fucked up. Alright, so after a few times of adjusting, grinding, adjusting, grinding, adjusting, grinding. This is where we're sitting right now. Standing. Sitting, standing, whatever. Right there. So it's better for sure. So the only problem is it's kind of hard to do it while the bumper is just chilling right there, right? Versus on the car because it's flexing on me. When it's on the car, it'll be stiff and then I'll know the final result. But as of right now, it looks good. But I guess I'll know the results when it's on the car. And I'm sure it will look even better, 10 times better when it's paint match to the bumper. It's time to secure it with this. It's, it's the rubber bottle. It's the stuff that, that you seal your headlights with, right? And that's the plan. We're going to add a whole bunch. Add so much of it. Of, add so much of this. To the back of that to the back of it along the lines you ever wondered the reason why I have it like this so originally it's supposed to be this piece right here this will be supposed to be on top of this however I've been looking at some of the forms and they say the best way to make this look pretty flush is to tuck this underneath and put this out and the only problem with that method is that this tip right here like points outward so we're using the bottle so that it can be pushed in so that it looks good right let's add this to that all right uh, I apologize for the noise. My neighbor is washing 
his charger outside, but this is the result of all that, all that bottle right there. Nice and sealed. Yeah, this, this thing isn't going anywhere. And let's work our way out to the front of the grill. See what it looks like. Pull that. There you go. Actually, it looks really good. You can't really even notice cuts per se, unless unless ah, oh, and then there's the marking. Unless you know what you're looking for. And I think it'll actually even look better whenever they paint match this to this. Anywho. Time to put that bumper back on, and that's the final result. I have, to get, I have to be in the car because uh, my neighbor is still watching his car outside so I want some good quality audio so I just came in the car real quick turn on the lights make it a little, little more interesting but yep that is that you guys that is the installation for a shark mouth grill on a third gen Acura TL I really hope you guys enjoy the video like I said I can't believe between the night clip and then the during the day clip there was a three week gap, but after I got back from vacation, I sort of slowed down. I sort of, you know, got out of routine, but I am back into the grind of things. And as of this video, we've reached over 200 subscribers, which is like, I am very appreciative of you guys, like giving me the time of day and things. And I guess we gotta keep, we gotta, we gotta keep building this. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like the video if you dig it and subscribe if you want to see more content and things like that. On that note, I'll see you guys in the next video.